Okay. Hi, kitty. Okay. Hello, guys. It's been a while. Um, hope you all are doing really well. Oh, it's been... Oh, just haven't done any for a while. Just, you know, stuff. But <clears throat> I'm doing this video today because I've had some YouTubers ask me to please do an update on my skincare regimen, which reminds me, hold on, <laughs> left it right over here, okay, <clears throat> okay, ow, <laughs> ow, I hurt my shoulder, I mowed the yard yesterday, and my shoulder hurts, anyway, um, yeah, so anyway, I'm doing an update on my skincare routine. I'm going to put some links below to my other videos because it really hasn't varied much from everything I have in there and that'd be just too much to go over. The only thing I will say is that in my previous videos for my anti-aging anti lotion that I make for myself because I got tired of spending a fortune on store-bought stuff that did absolutely nothing for my skin. And I'm talking at one point many, many years ago, I spent $250 on a jar of cream. This is years and years ago. Didn't do a thing for me. So I started researching what things are good for skin and I actually just put them in some lotion. Uh, and for me it's it's worked really well. I'm 64. I don't have any crow's feet. I don't have all those you know heavy lines you get on your forehead that kind of stuff. I don't have that. Uh, part of that too is I've been wearing sunglasses since I was 15 because I got contact lenses which I don't wear anymore but I got contacts at 15 and the sun made my eyes more sensitive so I've always worn sunglasses. I wear them outside. I don't care how cloudy it is unless it's you know such a dark cloud that you can't see but um, I wear them until till the sun is ready to go down so you can't see well because uh, the, the sun's rays go right through clouds, so don't don't be fooled thinking, oh, it's a cloudy day, I don't need to wear my sunglasses or my sunscreen. No, that's not true. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing those forever. And uh, other than that, I just really haven't changed what's in my uh, previous videos, other than that when I made my homemade, I make my homemade cream lotion for my face, I was using Vaseline Repair Lotion. But I have now, I, have, I changed to Jergens quite a while ago. Uh, it's called Jergens Ultra Healing. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, I hope you can. Hope the camera focuses in on that. But anyway, it's called Jergen, Jergens Ultra Healing and it has vitamin C, E, and B5. So, uh, also what you see in my previous videos when I make my... Uh, my uh, anti-aging lotion. I also put those ingredients in, in this. Uh, what I do is I take the bottle, I dump it all into a baggie, a big baggie, and then I put all those ingredients into the baggie, except I triple the ingredients because it's such a, a lot more uh, lotion. So whatever ingredients you see in the previous videos that I'll put the link below, I just triple it and put it in. I mush it in the baggie because it's too hard to shake it up. When the bottle is full, it's, it, it just doesn't shake really well. So that's what I do. I stick it in the baggie, I put the ingredients in, and then I mush it up really, really well in the baggie, and then I clip a corner, and then I just squish it all right back into the bottle. Very simple. Um, so that's the only thing I've changed in terms of uh, how I make my, um, my anti-aging lotion for my face. And I've used it for years and years and years, and it's worked really well for me. And I don't have any reactions. If you have a sensitivity to any kind of fragrance, which uh, I used to, don't so much anymore, I don't know why, but um, you can use the Vaseline. The Vaseline Repair that's in my previous video is very good. It works very, very well. That's what I used for years. I just like this one because it already had the C, E, and B5. And plus I use it all over and my skin is like baby soft. It is just baby, baby soft. So I really love this lotion. So Jergens, yeah, nourishes and heals, extra dry skin moisturizer, uh, repairs and heals. So this one has done well. And I use it on my face, guys. I don't, I don't buy all those 
special face creams and serums. I make my own and you'll see it in the videos that you go check out. Um, however, I thought I'd update you a little bit on, uh, like, I do still use my, um, ah, my Neutrogena. It's a, an exfoliator. You can see that. You, um, you apply the little, well, there's one on there. You apply the little um, scrubbing pads and it sticks with Velcro. See that? Uh, let me close that. And you can see there, it vibrates. Don't know if you can hear that. But it vibrates. And you just rub it all over your face. You just up and down, up and down, all over. And it gives a deep, deep exfoliation. But I suggest you don't do this more than, you know, depending on how sensitive your skin is too. That makes a difference as well. Once a week is what I do it. No more than that because it can make your skin look very papery and uh, it can actually aid you if you exfoliate too much. So once a week is good or maybe just say three times a month is good. Uh, just don't, don't do too much exfoliation because it, it does make your skin look very papery and it can cause a lot of irritations. So for me, the once a week is working well. Okay, so I still use that. And when you buy this, I get it at Walmart. When you buy this, you get this, and you get some of the little the little pads um, that go with it. And then you can buy these separately. So I like that a lot. And then I still use my, uh, it's a healing detox mask. It's nothing but uh, charcoal and vitamin C. It's... Um, it's bent, well, it's bentonite clay, vitamin C, and coconut charcoal. And that's it. Nothing else. And this stuff is amazing. After you use this, I got this on Amazon, off of Amazon. After you use this, your face is just, it's just glowing. I mean, it's just really glowing, and it really pulls out the junk. In fact, when I first started using it, and then if I go a long time without using it, you know how you get lazy? We all do. Um, if I go a long time without using it, and then I use it, I will actually get like little, I guess like little pimples, you know, they are tiny, but it's like it's pulling everything out and then it goes away. It's like it pulls everything up. I actually got pimple pimples. Uh, the first time I used this, I used it, to, I was using it every day to give my face a good, good cleaning and I got little pimples all over and then they disappeared, didn't come back. So I love this stuff. It's called Remain Simple Organics. Don't know if you'll be able to see that because I really can't tell guys with the lighting, darn it. But it's just a simple, uh, called Remain Simple. That's it, organics. So I like that a lot. And all you do is a powder and you just put it in a container, mix it with a little purified water. I use purified water, but use what you have. <clears throat> and then you make a paste put it all over and I leave it on for 30 minutes to really pull everything out and that I just do like twice a month that's what I do with this and then oh yeah when I make my uh, face cream my face lotion I put it in this little container which was just a soft soap hand uh, you know hand wash just wash it out and I keep it in here and you can see I'm almost out I need to make some more uh, but this is what I keep my face cream in and I keep it in my drawer so it's always in the dark because light affects a lot of things um, you know uh, that's why I like see this is opaque well since this isn't opaque I just keep it in my drawer so it's always dark I just get what I need and squish it out and stick it right back in my drawer so this works out really nice very handy very convenient the bottle cost me a dollar at the Dollar Tree so works really well and then I have this little Korean store right up the street from me and I love that little place. Um, I found this stuff there. It's called Shining Pearl Essence Mask. You can see that I hope. Uh, there you go. hope you can see that. But anyway, <clears throat> that's what it's called. Shining Pearl Essence Mask. See that? It has pearl crushing you know crushed pearl powder in it and it's just one whole mask a cloth that you just slap on your face you know you look like you have a mask on well it's a mask da -da. but yeah it's just one full cloth and you just slap it on press it down 
and uh, it makes your skin very, very soft, very glowy. I love this stuff. Um, it actually has, you know, crushed pearl powder in it. So, yeah, that's from my little Korean store up the street, and I love this stuff. And here's another one I get from that little Korean store. It's called Black Pearl Edition. If you can see that. I hope. But, um... These are for under your eyes, you know, those little um, things you stick under your eyes. You can see that. There's two there. There's several of them in there, but I mean one for each side of the eye. You can see that. So that's, I like that too. It makes your, um, the skin under your eyes very, very nice. And guys, I'm one of those people, I just like to try all kinds of different things. You know, girly girl where I see something, it's like, oh, that looks cool, I'm going to try it. I just like to try stuff. Here's another one. It's called Anti-Wrinkle and Energizing Eye Mask. That's what it looks like. And it's just another one of those deals where you put them under your eye. See? These are really nice, too. Make your, your eye area real smooth. So those I really love. Um, and these pearl ones... Oh, they smell so good. Gosh, they, well, they all do. Actually, all of these smell really, really good. They just smell good. But this one really smells good. So that's what I use for my face. And then, um, in my previous, one of my previous videos, I tell you about how I use, um, I cut up, I used to cut up a sheet in squares to remove my makeup with baby oil. Because if you use Kleenex or tissue paper, the fibers can actually get into your skin and irritate it and cause inflammation. It can actually age your eye area. So I stopped using Kleenex or tissues years. I mean, we're talking probably, you know, 25 years ago I stopped. And I was using the, the, um, the cut cloth. I, just w I would literally go to the thrift store, get an old sheet wash it up in hot water and you know disinfect it with bleach and cut it up you know into nice size squares to remove all my makeup with work it worked great and you could just wash them but I just happened to find these at Dollar Tree which I really love these these are 100% cotton cleansing cloths they're called Swispers let me see there you go let me put that up there Swispers Hope you can see that <clears throat> but they are 100% cotton and they are like cloth at first when I took one out I thought oh it looks like tissue or you know Kleenex no these are really tough you can see they are like cloth see and they're 100% cotton they do not shed there's no fibers to come out of it they're just it feels like cloth literally and uh, they're disposable you can't wash them uh, so I use this to remove my makeup with uh, my baby oil. I've always used make, uh, baby oil to remove my eye makeup. <clears throat> and these are great, guys. So if you have a Dollar Tree or a Dollar Store, see if they have them. These are a whole dollar for 24 So I stocked up. <laughs> I have a bunch of these boxes in my, <clears throat> my cabinet in my room. So, yeah, these are, these are great. And you can use them for other things, too, not just for removing makeup because... They are so strong. I mean, I can't believe, I, I couldn't believe it when I first took them out. I thought, dang, this is just like real cloth. So, yeah, use them and that's it, which I don't mind at all. But that's pretty much it, guys. I, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else, really. Whatever, and I'm going to post the videos of my previous, like my um, anti-aging lotion, my... Uh, vitamin C eye patches that I make and use and you'll see all of that in those videos so anyway guys just wanted to give you an update and I will get back to making videos I just I don't know a lot of things just kind of killed my desire for a little while plus my dog got really sick my little boy he got real sick for a while and I've just been stressing about that and I'm going to be taking him in for a uh, dental cleaning I have to take him for his appointment today uh, for the pre-exam. You know, pre 
and he because he's already like 14 years old so I'm kind of nervous about him having to go under to get a dental cleaning and I think he's probably gonna have to have some teeth pulled too so I'm a little nervous about that because he is my baby I've had him uh, since 2006 so he's he's been around a long time in my life through everything and he got really sick for a while there um, and I just kind of didn't, you know, you know how that goes. Stuff comes up and you're just like, I don't care about anything. I just want to deal with what's happening right now. And, uh, but now I'm feeling better and I, I believe he'll be okay. I have to believe he's going to be just fine with his, with his dental cleaning. It just scares me that they have to be put out to do that, uh, especially at his age. I'm even tempted to ask them if, if maybe it'd be better to just pull what teeth remaining teeth he has because he's had a lot pulled out over the years he's he's just one of those dogs and I'm kind of tempted to say maybe it's better to pull them all out I don't want him you know in six months having another dental issue and then he has to go under again when he's even older so I don't know I'm gonna see what they say I'd rather have a happy healthy toothless dog than a dog that has to keep going in to be put under to have something else done when he's already lost so many teeth you know Kind of like an older person who says, I've had it, take them all out, give me dentures. <laughs> so I don't know. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm a little nervous about that, guys. Today I go for his exam and take him. So, yeah. But anyway, just a little update. Check out the videos below and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, if I can reach over here.